Hey everyone, Axel here from Axel Azuli Entertainment, and as you can see, I am not on the regular set today. We are actually on vacation in California. That's why there hasn't been any new videos coming out this week. I'm sorry about that. I was gonna do an update video, but I've been so packed with stuff to do on this vacation. I've had no time. But finally, I have a little bit of time to relax, so I decided I'm going to make an unboxing video because I just went to Target, and there they had a bunch of Amiibos I didn't have, like four or five Amiibos that I don't have that I've never seen in a store before. But my mom said I could only get one right for the time being, so I decided I was going to get a Charizard Amiibo. And yeah, Charizard's one of my favorite characters in Smash Brothers. And let's start unboxing and reviewing. I'm sorry I'm moving around, but I have no chair to sit on. And this floor is pretty freaking uncomfortable, so let's just rip this box apart. And we'll get out this Charizard Amiibo right here. I don't know. <laughs> Come out, Amiibo! Okay, so this is the Charizard Amiibo. It, it's quite nice. It's a really big Amiibo, I must say. Uh, it's one of the largest, mostly because of these giant freaking wings it has. These wings just make it massive. And overall, it's a nice amiibo. Like I said, of all the Pokemon amiibos, they don't seem super detailed, but they have an excuse considering they're Pokemon, and the Pokemon models in the games aren't super detailed because of technical limitations, so it's understandable, and they wouldn't really have a texture because Pokemon are like that. Like Fox, he had to have a textured fur because he's a fox, but since these are Pokemon, they don't really need the textured stuff, so it works for this. And this, it's a really nice amiibo, but what I have to say is this, the paint job doesn't really look too good. I see several mistakes, like, uh, you won't really be able to see it, but on the claws, the paint on the, I'll show you that. You see, uh, his fingers, the paint is kind of screwed up. Uh, it's kind of like all bendy, not really how it's supposed to be. So the paint job is kind of soddy on this amiibo, more so than most other amiibos that I've seen. So that's a bad thing, the paint job is eh. Uh, but the thing that I really don't like about the Amiibo is the head. Now, as you can see, his face is actually attached to his neck, which I don't like that. You could have put a little space in there. It seems kind of stupid that the mouth, his bottom jaw, is literally attached to his neck. And that's not really good in my opinion. I'm not a huge fan of that. I think they could have made it uh, cooler. They could have made the neck not attached to his mouth uh, that's just a nitpick i have and saying is this crease in his head you can see really well where they uh, molded the two pieces of plastic together they're not even trying to get rid of that crease that crease really kind of annoys me because of how like big it is see that freaking crease i mean seriously that is pretty much unacceptable i do not like that that kind of ruins part of the amiibo for me but other than that it's really cool his pose is really good the tail, I really like how they use the clear plastic on the tail, and it's, it's a nice flame. And one other small thing I'd like to point out is the creases on the back. You can definitely see the creases where the wing mold was put in, and some creases on the tail. But they aren't too prevalent, they're really small creases. I didn't even notice till after recording, so they aren't really a big deal, and you won't be seeing them much if you unless you like face it backwards. So, and overall, the pose is really good, and I really like these wings. The wings are really well molded. Like, you've got the wings, which is nice. Then you've got the bones in the wings, which is a really nice touch. But then even after the the bones in the wings, there's also some folds and stuff in the wings, like you'd expect of natural wings, because they won't be all, like, smooth. They all have bumps and wrinkles and stuff on it, and this actually does have the bumps and wrinkles. So I have to say the mold for the Charizard Amiibo is really, really good. And overall, other than a few nitpicks, like the paint job is kind of shoddy and the head, it's a really good looking Amiibo. And from a distance, you can't even really tell of any of those. You have to get close to see all the mistakes. So from a distance, this is a really good looking Amiibo you got here. So I'm going to enjoy this. This is definitely going in my collection. This is a really nice thing. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review of the Charizard Amiibo. Uh, next time I will be reviewing the Splatoon Amiibos because I'm pretty sure I have ordered the Amiibo 3 pack for Splatoon, which is kind of a gift I'm getting for Easter. So we're going to be unboxing that. That'll probably be the next video to go up on the channel because I, ha I don't have any time on this vacation to record. But in the meantime, you can go check out the Lego Batman 
trailer that just dropped today. That's pretty awesome. I can't wait for the Lego Batman movie. But why am I even talking about Legos? This is an amiibo review. That's all I have to say. It's a really good amiibo, a few flaws. And until next time, I'm Axel from Axel Zooli Entertainment. And goodbye!